Hey guys, the third CF here, and I've got another battle pack review for you guys today. And today, indeed, is a very good day for me because I got a battle pack that I've been really, really, really waiting for. And today, we found it. So here it is. It is the Defend Camino battle pack, and as you can see, it includes Arc Commander Blick, Clone Trooper Fives, and my well, kind of tied for first between Wolf and Clone Trooper Echo. So, um, let me show you the cards before I go to the packaging, because if I take the packaging, this whole thing will fall. Um, this is our Commander Blitz. This is Clone Trooper Fives. Clone Trooper Echo. My favorite of the, of the pack. Alright, let me take the figures off of this little display thing. As you can see, the background is pretty nice. It's nicely colored and it's like a ambush of the aqua droids and the clone troopers trying to fight them. Pretty cool. Now on to the packaging. Now, the packaging is a little bit smaller. I can't really show a comparison right now because all my other bigger boxes are flattened out and on below a couple other boxes and I don't want to make too much noise since it is pretty late and everyone's sleeping. The fun Camino. It is kind of small. But of course now there's only three. A nice picture is basically the same background, but with the figures included. And then the other battle packs. This one's the Assault on Geonosis, Cad Bane's Escape, and the Hunt for Grievous. Um, it is a nice back. It is a nice back of the packaging, but they kind of screwed up here because it says Clone Trooper Fives right here, but the picture is of Clone Trooper Echo. And then right here it says Clone Trooper Echo, but this is Clone Trooper Fives. But they have the Commander Blitz right, so... Yeah. And the bio says, Arc Troopers and Clone Troopers from the 501st Legion defend Kamino from Separatist attack. The Elite Troopers fight battle droids that swarm the cloning facility. They arm themselves with blaster pistols and rifles and take on the invading army. So there you go. That's pretty much it for the packaging. It's pretty cool. I kind of like how it's smaller. And yeah. So, time to get on to the figures. Now, I've been really, really wanting this figure. The, these, this battle pack. Because of the figures, of course. But mostly because of Echo. Echo is like one of my all-time favorite clone troopers. And I miss Echo, you know. He's a brave soldier. Fives is also a pretty cool figure, and I like now that I have the red, blue, and yellow art troopers. I know the red and blue that I have technically really aren't the ones from Arc Trooper, the episode, but they look similar, so I'll like put them together and stuff. Anyway, let me start off with Commander Blitz, Arc Commander Blitz. Um, here we go. So the accessories. The accessories he's supposed to come with is this gun that we have seen before. It is in the Arc Troopers Battle Pack. So, it's pretty nice and detailed. Um, he does come with a removable backpack that we've seen before, also in the Arc Troopers Battle Pack. Alright, I just take that off. Um, this. Uh, head sculpt is the same as the other arc troopers and I do like the paint design on it the, the, like the yellow stripe and the gray front and all that the antenna the what's it called rangefinder is movable and removable I think if you pull it but I don't want to do that right now um, the pauldron has this it's like the double pauldron and has the added 
chest armor with the magazine holder. His right arm has the gray gauntlet and his left arm has the yellow gauntlet. And then the pattern on his um, comma is pretty cool. And I like the design on his shin areas, the boots. He does come with the normal DC-17 blaster pistol. Which just slides in very nicely onto his belt. So there you go. Pretty cool figure. The articulation, he's got a ball jointed head, ball in shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, a ball jointed torso, uh, swivel hips, ball in knees, and ball in ankles. So he is very nicely articulated, and yes. Now on to Clone Trooper 5's. Five. Um, fives has um, some really cool painting, like de decoration on his armor. It's like it looks like a barcode there. He's got the blue stripe on his arm. And on this arm, he has an insignia. That insignia is what? What's it called? It's that rotary cannon thing that Heavy was famous for. The one that he, the gun that he always uses. The one that's like really huge, and you have to use two hands to carry it. And it goes like, you know. And underneath that is some Arabesh lettering that I translated it, and it says "for heavy." And for heavy, you know, is for heavy. So. Yeah, his helmet design is pretty cool. Um, he does come with the DC-15 carbine. Actually, no, there's four DC carbines included in the battle pack. You get, like, two for both of the clone troopers. So you get four. So. And the head sculpt is pretty cool. It's the new head sculpt to the new version of it. And he's got like a little goatee and a little barcode kind of tattoo on his forehead there. So yeah, that's pretty much it for fives. He's got a ball jointed head, ball and shoulders and elbows, um, ball and wrist, a ball jointed torso, silver hips, ball and knees, and ball and ankles. So he's got pretty good articulation. Articulation. Also, I noted that with the new head sculpt, I'm not sure if I didn't, I just didn't notice it with the other clone troopers, the older ones, that you can't really move his head too much. Only like swivel, kind of. Not too much up and down, so. I don't know if I didn't notice that with the older ones, but whatever. Now on to Echo, my favorite clone trooper of this set. Oh, I didn't take off that gun from his rubber band, whatever. Um... He has the same insignia on his leg, slightly bigger, and this says the same thing for heavy. He's got the famous blue hand that Captain Rex gave him. He's got the blue stripes on his arms there, and he's got two stripes hanging down from his helmet, and his fin is blue. The head sculpt is just an plain it's just his it's just a head because echo never really had any tattoos or mustaches or goatees or whatever so not too much for echo really but you know he's just my favorite clone really and right next to commander wolf these two i like literally yelled no when i saw him die it was such a dramatic scene I said like the same thing as Fives when I saw him die. I was like, no, Echo! Um, you know. You know, it was a really sad moment. I was really mad. Everyone was really mad, actually. Even people that didn't really watch the show regularly at my school, but they see it sometimes, were like all mad. They were like, they killed Echo, what the heck, man? Oh my god. No, because everyone loved Echo for some reason. Maybe it's the hand that made him unique. I don't know, but he's really cool. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this set. I really, 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 really was looking forward to getting this when it came to, onto retail. Um, so I decided to pick him up.
that's pretty much it for this section for this battle pack review. Um, up next, I'll come up with a new Saga Legends figure that just came out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And may the blue hand live forever in our hearts. May the force be with you. Bye.